good morning to all today for discussion under the gnan manch program <coughs> we are here to discuss about what is research methodology how research is carried out and what are the important components of research i myself dr shreyas bhat professor and head department of life sciences hemchandracharya north gujarat university patan and with me dr mahendra bhai prajapati in charge head department of mathematics hemchandracharya north gujarat university are here to together to discuss about research methodology good morning to all as such since the implementation of the 11th plan by ugc has given a mandate of reformation in administration administration and education to be carried out during the 11th plan and the state government has taken up this mandate and given the directives to each of the universities of the state to have their research component be strengthened and the development of curriculum for the industries and society society so that we can take up the research as a serious concern and do something for the benefit of society and industry for this we are trying to discuss about what is research and how it is to be carried out now as per the methodologies that have been discussed we can say that research is a reflection and science now one may question about what is reflection a reflection what we can say is a serious thinking about the planned and the environment in which we are living so a planned serious thinking about environment in which the organism is living and accordance to in accordance to the existing environment the organism tries to live and tries to adapt in successfully carrying out their life processing and on the other hand where the environment becomes unfavorable in the sense that some of the components may get changed the organism tries to adapt to these changes in the environment to live their life in the changed environment in doing so these organisms carry out certain changes and these changes are in accordance with the changes to the environment so in other way what we can say is the organism tries to find ways and means to sustain their life in the environment so these ways and means what they find in accordance to live in the existing or changed environment becomes the science and it is the foundation of research so the ways and means becomes the research in the process of carrying out their life processes i would request dr prajapati also to throw some highlight in this regard thank you what sir a research is scientific and systematic search for relative information on a specific topic it is an art of scientific investigation research of any kind is a careful investigation through search for new facts according to p v young we may define social research as the systematic method of discovering new facts or verifying old facts their sequences interrelationships casual explanations and the natural laws which govern them social research is carried on both for discovering new facts and verification of old ones 
the objective of every science is the discovery of new facts new relationship and new laws governing the phenomena but constant verification of the old concepts is also needed especially for dynamic science why verification is needed there are two reasons for the verifications the first one an improvement in the techniques of research and it is necessary to test the old concept by the improved techniques navi koi technology aavi che computerizations to ene apne adopt karvi pade junu je research che ene etla mate dhyan ma levu pade ene consider karvu pade the second second phenomena under study might have undergone a change and it may require to test the validity of the old concept in the changed circumstances nava je circumstances aavya che ena anusandhan ma jo old research che ene nava ma kai rite adopt kari shakay modify kari shakay these are the two ways basic assumptions the first assumption is existence of cause and effect relationship as for example social crime may be caused by poverty and frustration apra u mani liye mani lyo ke social crime mate aa be vastu jawabdar che poverty and the second one is the frustration this shows that in order to eliminate crimes from the social sector poverty and frustration have to be eliminated first second existence of sequence or law in social activities social activity do not occur in haphazard or random way there is some system some trend behind them as for example it is proved that man liye apne suppose it is proved that population of a country increased by some specific rate then population of the place in future years may be safely predicted possibility of detached detached study even though man is an integral part of the society which he investigated still it is possible for him to study it is by keeping himself separate from the system hence his own feelings emotions would not be reflected in the study the fourth one existence of ideal types in a society everyone is not entirely different from each other people can be grouped into fairly homogeneous classes known as the ideal type now let us move on the objective of research pehla shuruaat ma pan ene definition aapi chhe let me repeat whole thing again the main aim of research is to find find out the truth which is hidden and which has not been discovered till today char prakar na research available che athwa banavi shakay che ek to formulative research studies descriptive research studies diagnostic research studies and hypothesis testing research studies what are the motivations from the research point of view तो फर्स्ट डिस्क्राइब टू गेट रिसर्च डिग्री एलॉन्ग विथ द बेनिफिट्स वॉट एवर मे बी द बेनिफिट्स सेकेंड डिजायर टू फेस द चैलेंजिज इन सॉल्विंग द अनसॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स द थर्ड वन डिजायर टू गेट इंटेलेक्चुअल जॉय ऑफ डूइंग ए क्रिएटिव वर्क फोर्थ वन डिस्क्राइब टू बी ऑफ सर्विसेस टू सोसाइटी 
desire to get responsibility this list are not exhaustive this is the main parts now types of research the basic types of research are number 1 descriptive versus analytical what is the meaning of descriptive so descriptive means it includes surveys fact finding inquiries in social science and business business research we quite often use the term ex post facto research for descriptive research studies only report what happens or what is happening in analytic research the research has to use fact or information already available and analyze this to make a critical evaluation of the study the second types applied and fundamentals applied means on action based fundamental means basic or pure applied research aims at finding a solution for an immediate problem facing a society or an industrial or business organization fundamental research is mainly concerned with generalizations and with the formulations of theory gathering knowledge for knowledge gathering knowledge for knowledge's sake is termed pure and basic research research concerning same natural phenomena or relating to pure mathematics are example of fundamental research the third quantitative versus qualitative one which involve quality or kind and second on the measurement the fourth one conceptual versus empirical conceptual means related to abstract ideas or theory generally used by ph- philosophers and thinkers to develop new concept whereas empirical research means it is a data based research Uh, research mainly depends on data sources to sources of a data there are two types of data requires mainly two sources one is documentary sources and second is field sources documentary sources involves books reports of survey memories etc and field resources involves the direct observations qualities of a good research worker to general qualities shu ho bhi jaiye vidyarthiyon ni andar researchers ni andar एक तो साइंटिफिक एटीट्यूड जरूरी है इमेजिनेशन एंड इंसाइट एटली जरूरी है परसर्वंस ए क्विक ग्रास्पिंग पावर क्लेरिटी ऑफ थिंकिंग दीज आर द बेजिक पिलर्स फॉर रिसर्चर्स स्पेसिफिक क्वालिटीज वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ स्पेसिफिक क्वालिटीज knowledge of the subject knowledge of the techniques of research personal taste taste in the study familiarities about the informants on based attitudes these are known as the specific qualities me jare apne research karta hoye tyare problems encountered by the research researchers in india 
ઇન્ડિયાની અંદર મેઇનલી જ્યારે રિસર્ચ થતું હોય છે ત્યારે કયા કયા પ્રોબ્લેમ્સ ફેસ કરવા પડે છે એના થોડા એક ઓબ્ઝર્વેશન્સ અહીં રજૂ કરું છું લેક ઓફ સાયન્ટિફિક ટ્રેનિંગ ઇન ધ મેથોડોલોજી ઓફ રિસર્ચ મેઇનલી રિસર્ચર્સ ટેક એ લીવ ઇન ધ ડાર્ક વિધાઉટ નોઈંગ રિસર્ચ મેથડ મોસ્ટ વર્કર્સ ઇઝ નોટ મેથોડોલોજીકલ સાઉન્ડ મોસ્ટલી એ કટ એન્ડ પેસ્ટ જોબ વિધાઉટ એની ઇન્સાઇડ ઓન કોલેક્ટેડ મટીરિયલ્સ that is do not reflect the reality so a systematic study of research methodology is an urgent necessity before understanding research projects research should be well equipped with all methodological methodological aspects second problem there is insufficient 